What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the different monsters we can expect to see in the Necrom chapter. Now, of course, with a new chapter, with a new zone, it's going to be, kind of come with new monsters, new creatures. And Zoss gave us a sneak peek as kind of how they worded it at these terrifying and bizarre creatures you will see across the different landscapes. The first one they talked about, of course, were Seekers. Seekers are danger creatures uh, resembling Spawn from the inevitable Knower himself. A reliable witness has claimed that the Seeker may only make only the basic and uncanny of sounds as they silently prowl their master's realm. Now, of course, I'm sure a lot of you have seen images of the Seeker, which is kind of that floating looking monster. Uh, it's a pretty unique looking character or a, a creature that they have made. And I'm really glad that they decided to go with some, not really just what we have seen in the past in different chapters or, you know, maybe some of the same kind of, you know, beast and creatures we've seen, but go with something like a completely new idea. And I think that's going to definitely add to kind of the creepiness of Necrom. Next is going to be Lurkers. Looking at these beasts, it's easy to see their philosophy was inspired by some of the strangest creatures of Nern. Perhaps it's a link back to Nern that makes them so truly disgusting because deep down we recognize the shapes that inspired the Lurker and we fear them. The Lurker to me is definitely a, a new take on some of the creatures we've had in game. It almost looks like something out of a sci-fi <laughs> movie you would see. It's pretty wild looking. You know, you're seeing a creature that almost looks like something could come from, you know, the ocean even. It's it's a very unique looking creature that I think is going to be, add, you know, an interesting kind of layer, like I said, to the kind of whole aesthetic of it being that creepy, scary idea that's behind the Necrom chapter. And last but not least is the Hushed, which reminds me of something we would see in Resident Evil if you're a Resident Evil fan or something of that kind of you know similar game. Unlike Seekers and Lurkers, the Hushed do not appear to be naturally occurring residents. Instead, they are theorized to be the husk of mortal lore seekers who have been degraded both mentally and physically after peering too long into the Lord of Knowledge's darkest secret. The Hushed are the results of prolonged exposure to the boundless secrets of the realm. Uh, once uh, researchers and scholars themselves, these misshapen, mouthless beings are now driven only by thirst for knowledge. They are hostile and extreme to mortal antelopers. And like I said, it's definitely something that looks like you would see in one of those, like games, like I said, Reven Resident Evil, something that's that real kind of dark, gloomy game that has a lot of jump scares and, and things like that in it. So all of these new creatures they're adding in, uh, like I said, I think is a really cool unique idea and it says last and the most disturbing creature of all is mind terrors you may encounter them in your travels throughout and are nightmarish mind terrors everything about these monstrosities seem to be disguised to instill terror into the minds of mortals fears their weapon and they wield it uh greatly or expertly um and these are once again something that we have not seen before and i think that some of these may, you know, really have a kind of different challenge to them that we have not maybe experienced in ESO in the past. You know, adding new creatures in, I'm sure we may see some new mechanics here as well when you're fighting these creatures. So I'm definitely interested to hop in the game and get to check these out for myself. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what of these new creatures that will be in the game is probably going to be one of your favorite or one of the most unique ones you've seen in ESO so far. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.